in addition to the 1225 and the 4449, recently overhauled sister Berkshire number 765 of the Nickel Plate Road from Fort Wayne, Indiana, would rejoin 1225 for the first time in 18 years, following a tremendous series of operations that saw the two locomotives operate in tandem excursion service in 1991 through the New River Gorge in West Virginia. Owned and maintained by the Fort Wayne Railroad Historical Society, the 765 has operated over 52,000 miles in excursion service. She was back on the main line after a 16-year absence and an extensive overhaul that returned the locomotive to as-built condition. It had been a significant amount of time since the two locomotives were together. Some key people who had been involved in that had passed on in both groups, had moved on. So much had happened to both groups in that time. 765 had been through a full rebuild. 1225 had had a brand new set of siphons in there. Uh, it was no longer you know, just a group in the back shop anymore. Um, you know, we, they were coming to our site. You know, it, it, it just was phenomenal. And, and the whole world, as we all knew, of steam had changed so dramatically in 1991. When 765's whistle could first be heard coming in, it definitely brought a tear to several of our eyes. That, you know, the two of them whistling off at each other, and the relationship that had started to come back together, I think, between different members of the two groups. It was a culmination of a lot, but I think, you know, in many ways, I think it's the beginning of a lot, too. To see those two engines back together, um, the, the two Lima sisters, um, was, was very, very emotional for a lot of us. The groups were in different places, but the, the engines were still here, and I think that was the biggest thing is, you know, I think a lot of us thought that that, that would never happen again, and, you know, 18 years later, it had happened again, um, and, and the two groups had made it happen again. Of, of the goodwill that the steam locomotive produces and spreads across the country, it's something that the railroads just can't do any other way. Thanks to the ceaseless work of the Steam Railroading Institute and Train Festival 2009, Owasso won't be absent the stirring sights and sounds of its very own piece of history for long.